Hello, we're here today with Lord Hall, the Director General of the BBC, for the launch of the Microbit. So, how did the idea of the Microbit originate? Well, it came from uh, a meeting I was having, a lunch actually, with some people from the world of technology. And uh, they were saying to me, there are three languages you need to know in the world, uh, English, Chinese and code. And I then thought, do you know what, we should try to come together with other companies and do something about that and teach, well, this country to, to code. And then we thought, let's get young people involved with this. And we came down to the idea of uh, year sevens. And then the uh, inspired group of people we have at the BBC with us said, let's, let's produce this thing called a microbit. So it actually came from the idea that, you know, like language, we all need to understand how to code. And that means younger people and it also means oldies like me too. Um. How do you think the microbit will benefit people in the future, such as jobs, schools, and other things? Well, what I've seen around here uh, this morning are lots of different ideas to how to use a microbit, from a blimp, a balloon with, with uh, propellers on it, to um, a, a sort of motorised vehicle, to someone having a wearable technology, to other people saying we've got mass learning you know, tables issues. Loads and loads of different ideas. And I think by trying these ideas, learning the things you can do, the ideas you can have that you can make, make come true, that's a huge lesson. And also what's been interesting too is people are thinking about, well, how do, what does this look like? How do I market this? You know, what, is it going to look pretty? Is it going to look ugly? What do I want to do with it? And I think that's such an important part of learning. So I hope that people play with it, they enjoy it, they have fun. That's, I mean, a number of people here are saying we must have fun. That's really important too. So I hope it's a kind of, it's a, something that inspires uh, the next generation of people, you know, maybe people are going to end up running Microsoft, um, you know, to come and, and see that this is, this is a career for them. Over there is a, is a bit of old tech, which is the BBC uh, micro from uh, the 80s. That inspired a whole generation. And I hope for you, your generation, this is something that's going to set you off on amazing careers and doing amazing things. So do you think the micro bit not only inspires people academically to try harder, but creatively? Yeah, I hope, I, I, I really think... You know, it matters academically, but I actually I hope creatively too. And, um, I, you know, I, I, who knows whether today the person who's going to run the BBC or run Microsoft is actually in this room somewhere thinking, you know, but I'm going to make this happen, I'm going to make this work for me. And I, and I really hope, you know, creativity is so important um, and it really, really matters. And I just hope it can inspire creativity as well. Thank you. A pleasure. I'm here with the CEO of Microsoft, Satya. We're going to talk about the new launch of the Microbit. So, what is Microsoft's involvement with the Microbit? Our involvement is to enable all of you here uh, to be able to do amazing things with Microbit. So one of the things that uh, we did was to make it possible for you to write code uh, that makes uh, Microbits really do things. Uh, so one of the things that I just saw was someone was building a game using Kudo, which is one of the editors we have, for kids to be able to learn. Uh, computing and uh, the idea that we can now take that learning and scale it all the way to a tool like Visual Studio that I hope all of them will use at some point in their life as they become more proficient in coding, that's what we're enabling. And more importantly, we're now going to take it to 35 schools and give out these 15,000 or so micro kits, uh, micro bit kits, so that we can really make sure that everyone around here can start learning to code. Okay, how do you think these opportunities benefit students in that? I think that uh, Tony said it right where he said in learning English and Chinese and now coding is what's going to become the most important skills that all of us need to have uh, as we go on to change the world. Um, and the thing that I saw even in the uh, projects, I mean, someone's building a helicopter, uh, someone's building games, someone's sort of going to go build things that are going to change education. So every field out there is going to have an element of digital technology. And to learn that right in school, right in primary school and middle school is fantastic. And finally, do you think the microbit could become a worldwide product? I hope for sure that it becomes a worldwide phenomena where the product, but more importantly, the ingenuity that I saw today in the kids that I met today is what I think will become worldwide in terms of really inspiring every kid to be, get out there, learn coding, and express themselves in ways that are so, so creative. Thank you, Thank you very much.